All right, here's how we set up our feeding system. And George is gonna be our tour guide today. So here we have our barrel that we put. So these get filled up with syrup. So the bees, and then from here it goes down and feeds each nuke. Inside here we have a float. So when this gets full, Can you show this, us the float float, this float right there mm -hmm. will go up when it's this is full and all the other feeders are full and it'll feed on to the next one. So here you have where the main uh, line comes in. So this feeds your syrup to the barrel and then each one individually feeds a nuke. So and here we have our stand, which these are all homemade. <laughs> Everything's homemade. Everything's homemade. So here there's a kind of a little <laughs> tricks you have to watch for. You have to make sure that you put your connection on the same side as your main uh, syrup line is going to be coming in. So that's the main line from the pump, right? Yes, this which are is from the pump. which is out there. Solar powered. Solar powered. We're, yeah. we're staying green. Not really. We're Time. staying cheap. <laughs> <laughs> so, what you want to do here, with one hand, you want to kind of grab this one, your stand, a little bit. And what kind of, of a holder is this? This is just a three-inch PVC. Three. Uh, 100 uh, it's they call a series 100 so it's fairly thin wall and then we cut it out we cut this out so in order to make a C clamp and then the back what we cut out we put in the back and then we just screw it to two by fours so what you want to do here you want to not go in at it straight you want to come in kind of at an angle pull it up a little bit and just push it in and it closes perfect on it. Turn it up so that way this closes the top window that, and nothing can get in there. In case, you know, ants, they like sticky stuff. Yeah, so this this tape right here, this is just to keep ants and everything away. And then this is our vent. So this is a, a nomadic uh, silencer, but we have to put a small umbrella over it that way water doesn't get on there and it doesn't uh, leak out because we actually tape it so it's actually uh it's sealed in there so and go ahead keep going george so next what you want to do is on each nuke we have our feeders on them which are three feeders for each individual room and you have this line that feeds all three of them and then as, if you can see one line is on one end, and the other one is on the opposite end. So once these are all straight, what I like to do is this shorter one, I like to put closest, but on the farthest one, if that makes sense. So the two farther connections are most of the time for this side, because you don't want these like this up here, because then the syrup will not travel and it will not go into the barrel and your nuke will not get fed. So I'd like to put it like this, tilt it down a little bit. Now these hoses are kind of tricky, especially these older ones, because they've been in the sun, so they're kind of hard. This one's fairly new, so it's a little more easier to work with. So you just kind of got to move it around a little, push it in all the way. You got to make sure you push it in all the way because Sometimes we'll just put put it in leave it. It'll be good for the first day But the next day you come back and it's just leaking a bunch of syrup and then you lose a lot of syrup So you got to make sure you push it in All the way mm -hmm. Like that and then you try to make it sit as flat as possible so that's okay. It can be better, but Now you grab the next line you do the same thing. So this, this line comes out on this side and this line comes out closer to the barrel. So you want to put the farther line like that. Mm -hmm. So that way it kind of pushes this other line down too. And then same thing with this one. You kind of got to find which way it twists. Mm -hmm. Put that in, push it in all the way, line up your barrel. And 
Now, it's ready to connect your main. Now, main is connected. You can see the syrup running through them. Mm -hmm. Right there. Yep. See them right there? That seemed pretty easy. Yes. <laughs> This is a lot better than feeding them by hand. Oh yes, way better. Imagine feeding all of this with bottles. And that's just one yard. Yeah, we have five out here yards. And yards are I think 30 pallets. 30 pallets each yard. Yeah. These are new ones. These are new hoses. You can really see them on this one. I guess we should have shown this one, but... We could do a... The idea is the same, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, you can see it. It's a little bit bigger. It's almost magnif. You can magnif. It magnifies the the syrup in there. But. Well, thank you for that, George. Yep, no problem. I hope uh, hope you guys understood me and you guys can get it.